What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Sports PSP. Hope you all enjoying the rest of your day. Want to talk about some NFL news regarding the NFL draft and CJ Stroud of the Ohio State University. Um, in case if you haven't heard it, CJ Stroud has officially announced his decision and he will enter the 2023 NFL draft. Stroud is coming off another amazing year at Ohio State. Uh, 3,700 yards, 41 touchdown passes to only six interceptions, leading Ohio State to the semifinals of the college football playoffs. And also, he was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. So my thoughts on C.J. Stroud leaving to enter the NFL draft. Number one, he made the right decision. Whether NIL deals or NFL money, look, number one, you, NFL money, who's going to, who, I mean, who's going to turn that down? I mean, that's number one. But more importantly, look, I think CJ did it because there's a strong possibility he could be the first or second quarterback taken in the NFL draft. And by the way, folks, Bryce Young and CJ Stroud are the top two quarterback candidates in this NFL draft. And they ain't even close. So CJ has a strong possibility to be the first quarterback taken off the board or even the first overall pick. So I think he made the right decision because in 2024, there's no guarantee he's going to be the first pick or even the first or second quarterback taken, particularly when there's the reigning Heisman Trophy winner, Caleb Williams from USC and North Carolina's Drake May and Texas's Quinn Ayers. So that quarterback class in 2024, there's no guarantee um, where C.J. Stroud will land. He'll be a first rounder, in my opinion. But I don't know about him being the first or second quarterback taken in the 2024 NFL draft. So he made the right decision to enter this year's NFL draft. Um, but here's the problem for C.J. Stroud and as well for Bryce Young. The Chicago Bears have the number one overall pick. And I believe they have a quarterback in Justin Fields. Not a lot of people are sold on Justin Fields, particularly ESPN's Mike Tannenbaum. He said that he would trade Justin Fields and try to get Bryce Young. First of all, I, I said it before on my previous video. I wouldn't do that. I think that is a dumb idea. I'm not saying Mike Tannenbaum is dumb. Let me get that straight and off the record. I think his idea, his method, however, is dumb because I'm not going to trade one quarterback just to draft another. No, I have a talented enough quarterback in Justin Fields. Yes, I get it. He's not the most He's not the best passer in the world, granted. However, he's in a horrible situation because he doesn't have much help around him, particularly with the offensive line and the wide receivers, okay? Chicago is dead last in the NFL in passing offense, and they're 23rd in team offense, and they're dead last in scoring offense. They're number one in offense in terms of rushing, they're great as far as running the football, and Justin Fields plays an instrumental role. After all, he led the NFL in rushing at the quarterback position with over 1,000 yards. He became the third quarterback in NFL history to do that. Um, Michael Vick and Lamar Jackson were the first two. So for Justin Fields to be in that category, it's amazing. But if I'm Chicago, and if I have the number one overall pick, and if I feel like Fields is the guy... I would trade that number one overall pick to anybody who's desperate for a quarterback. And in return, I would get multiple draft picks, whether some a couple of first rounders, two or three first rounders, a couple of second rounders, a couple of third or fourth rounders or whatever. I would get as many draft picks as possible, build the round fields, just like how the Philadelphia Eagles did with Jalen Hurts. Like fields, Jalen Hurts wasn't considered the greatest thrower in the world. But the Eagles did their due diligence by surrounding him with talent, particularly an A.J. Brown and a Devontae Smith. So if you're Chicago, follow that exact blueprint. It's not that hard. It's not that complicated. That way, there's going to be some other team that is going to draft Bryce Young or C.J. Stroud with the number one overall pick. Meanwhile, for you, Chicago, you get those draft picks and you build around fields. I don't even understand why it's that difficult to some people and why you want to give up on Justin Fields. He just finished his second year in the NFL and he's only 23 years old. The man is a few months shy of turning 24. So 
he has a lot of upside and potential. I get it. He's not the most efficient passer. He completed over 60% of his passes, but he's in a horrible situation with that offensive line and with those weapons. And no matter who you put at quarterback, it's going to be hell. So that's what I would do if I'm Chicago. But like I said, CJ Stroud made the right decision to enter this year's NFL draft because he will be the first or second quarterback taken in the NFL draft. And in 2024, there's no guarantee for him. And I already told you about Chicago. But let me know in the comment section below, guys. Let me know your thoughts. It's your boy Sports PSP. Hope you all enjoying the rest of your day. And God bless.